Welcome to this worship service for August 23, the 12th Sunday after Pentecost for Zion Lutheran Church, Deer Park, Washington. Uh, for Holy Communion, uh, you can pause the video to share the bread and the wine um, in your household. Uh, if you prefer, you can continue using uh, the document or email each Sunday to have someone in your household lead the communion part of the service in your house. For this worship service, the words for you to speak will either appear on the screen or I'll tell you what to say, and then some are ones I think you're just used to saying. We begin with confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit, that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what you have done and by what you have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you, and for his sake God forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. We continue with the Kyrie. Your response is, Lord, have mercy. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and the holy houses in which you dwell today, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. O oh God, with all your faithful followers of every age, we praise you, the rock of our life. Be our strong foundation and form us into the body of your Son, that we may gladly minister to all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We continue with God's word for this, the 12th Sunday after Pentecost. Today's sermon is drawn from the Gospel reading from Matthew 16. I read that passage on the sermon video, and will now read to you the other readings for today. The first reading is from the prophet Isaiah, the 51st chapter. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, and I blessed him, and I made him many. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. 
Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give heed to me, my nation, for a teaching will go out from me, and my justice for a light to the peoples. I bring near my deliverance swiftly. My salvation has gone out, and my arms will rule the peoples. The coastlands wait for me, and for my arm they hope. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath. For the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment, and those who live on it will die like gnats. But my salvation will be forever, and my deliverance will never be ended. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We continue with the psalm. Please respond with the verses in bold. Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart before the gods. I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and praise your name because of your steadfast love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called you, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the rulers of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet cares for the lowly, perceiving the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. You will make good your purpose for me. O Lord, your steadfast love endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Our second reading continues our reading through Romans uh, this summer. Today, Romans 12, 1 through 8, Paul writes, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to prevent your, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same functions, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in, in, in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Having heard the good news of Jesus Christ through God's word, let us confess our faith together with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the people. Today's prayers are drawn from our first reading, Isaiah 51, 1 to 6. The response today is, have mercy, O God. Confident of your care, 
and help by the Holy Spirit. We pray for the church, the world, and all in need. God, whose love is given in covenant, by holy baptism we can look to our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, as we are joined to the family of God, as your church in the world. Continue to bless and call your church in all places, including the congregations of our Mount Spokane cluster of the Northwest Intermountain Synod. Let us pray. Have mercy, O God. God, whose creating work extends to wilderness and gardens, you make deserts bloom and waters gush. Bless all those who live out your vocations in the world, including those serving you as family members, those serving you in farms, businesses, schools, civil service, and medical practices, those serving you as military and first responders, and those serving you as volunteers locally and around the world. Let us pray. Have mercy, O God. God, whose rule stretches across coastlands to every nation, you call us to listen as you teach us justice as a light to the peoples. Equip our elected leaders and equip each one of us to work for a world where all people know justice, peace, and hope. Let us pray. Have mercy, O God. God, whose comfort comes to us even when life feels like we are living in wasted places. Restore all in need with joy, gladness, and healing, including those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, including all affected by COVID-19, and all who grieve. Hear us now as we name either aloud or silently those who are on our hearts this day. Your names. Let us pray. Have mercy, O God. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. As we continue with the offering prayer, thank everybody for continuing to be faithful in your giving, bringing it to the church, or mailing it. And I guess some of you have figured out you can get it to our treasurer, Jessica, through Darren's Bike Shop. So many ways to continue your faithful giving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. We prepare for Holy Communion. And again, some of you will choose to use the home service. For those communing here online, we continue. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All things are ready. This is the table of Jesus Christ 
And Jesus invites to his table all in need of his gifts of forgiveness of sin and eternal life. Following the Jewish custom, I will, as host, take communion first and then give you the opportunity for in your homes. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God. Thank you for worshiping with us this morning. May you have a blessed, blessed, blessed week. Goodbye.